Suspect, hiding behind the wheel, we see you. Show us your hands. Suspect, show us your hands. Where's the rope? Oh my god, that was awesome. I didn't even see it. A hostage crisis inside an abandoned house. A SWAT team called to the scene knowing very little information. How can they possibly know what danger is waiting inside for them? This is how. I'm Terry Shepard, and this is Digital Justice. At a tactical conference in San Diego, Amy Barmore of Recon Robotics shows off one of the latest tools available to SWAT teams across the country, the Recon Scout. The robot was actually developed at the University of Minnesota. It was under a DARPA project, and some of the students decided to bring the product to market, and they started the company with the concept of a throwbot. Yeah, how does this thing work? What's inside of this? And, and it's basically a visual thing. camera, so a set of eyes on the inside. There's a camera here, an IR bar, so that in complete darkness the camera will see. And then this is just the screen, and so with a single joystick, they can watch the screen, drive the robot all around, clear a building, a roof, rooms. We have 2,200 in the field, and that's, that's worldwide in law enforcement, federal, and military. Uh, they, they love them. Near Oakland, California, the East Bay Regional Park District SWAT team conducts a training session to prepare them for potentially dangerous standoffs. Uh, in the event that something becomes dislodged, cover the exposed area, take a knee, remain prone, call ceasefire, we're all safety officers. The recon scout adds to their reconnaissance ability. Has this helped you guys, at least if not taking down a target, but keeping you guys safe? Oh, absolutely. We've, uh, we've used it on numerous missions. We've had it for about a year now. Is it pretty user-friendly, like you said? Oh, yeah. Like I said, once you get used it a few times, you figure out how to work it real easily, and you can make it go wherever you want to go. It's uh, basically indestructible. You can, uh, you can throw this, bounce it, throw it through a window. Uh, it won't get hurt at all. Now it's time to see it in action. Nice, guys. We're going to be an innovative company, but we're not going to be a company that we think this is a brilliant idea, so we're going to make it. Right. We're going to listen from the field. So, perfect segue here. Let's talk to these guys. All right, so, Anthony, tell me a little bit about this. Now, um, is there a recent uh, time you've deployed this, and, and how did it work out? About a year ago, uh, we had a uh, bank robbery. We were able to deploy the robot and search the bank and actually find three tellers that were hiding within the bank. We called them out, we were able to rescue the tellers. And we obviously had an advantage when we sent that in first, and we kind of know what the hard corners are clear when we first go in through the front door, so we kind of know, like I say, it's not clear until we say it's clear, but we definitely have an advantage on the suspect. So I mean, if someone came up to you and said, hey, has this, has this uh, made you better and also saved lives, you would definitely say? Oh, absolutely, uh, and, absolutely. Back in Oakland, the SWAT team continues with their training, but this time, the robot is paired up with a furry friend. <laughs> And even I get in on the excitement. It was, it was funny, Lance, you, when you gave it to me, basically I had no training. You told me to pull the pin, throw it, and then turn this on, right? Right. Uh, I purposely didn't want you to have any uh, manipulation with the robot yet, because I wanted you to see how easy it worked. Yeah. You were able to, um, to get your bearings with the robot, uh, maneuver the robot around the room, find the suspect, and I was able to pass that information on to uh, the canine handler. Suspect! You know, come out right now, I'm going to send the dog! <laughs> Okay, suspects, kick the robot. Deploy him! Push through. Make sure you flood that road. Oh! Alright, so you've combined everything. You've combined technology, a skilled operator, and of course, a 80-pound furry missile. It makes us uh, makes our job safer by doing it this way. So the robot definitely has a purpose, and it uh, works real well for us. 
and you know if it keeps the people safe but I also in my mind too importantly you guys safe then it's then I guess it's got then it serves its purpose absolutely you know we we get a lot of feedback and sometimes it's improvements on the robot or how it's used and the biggest thing that we always hear is a thank you thank you for help saving my guys thank you for help protecting them the recon scout is just another innovative tool in law enforcement's bag of tricks but like all technology it can't do everything never forget about the human behind the machine. I'm Terry Shepard, and this has been Digital Justice.